Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legend difficulty. Time for a couple of Haven defenses. The first one is Fort Hera, where we defend a New Jericho establishment and great rewards on top of that. We got our C team here, JP Pauly and Co. So let's see how well they are going to do. Generally well equipped. Um, I think our sniper could benefit from an actual sniper helmet. There you go. Kylie Kenai. A couple of proper helmets that do not make it too difficult to see. Normal Odin helmet uh, will make your life easier as well. Phoenix sniper armor. Okay, cool. Well, it seems as if we got the absolute basics down. Did I need to level someone up? No. Well, maybe Kylie here. 10% uh, mm, bonus damage dealt, but lower accuracy. I don't like that, so we're not going to take it. Not for a sniper. You need to be accurate. Good, we landed. All we need to do is apparently kill two enemies, but I find that hard to believe. There is a new Jericho assault right there. Okay, cool. Like it. We're scouting ahead with our infiltrator who is still left uncovered. I need turrets. Can't wait. Right We're there. moving over here. Did we kill the gun? No, we did not yet. Sniper into full cover. Running. Here. And we'll get back to cover. Okay. So far so good. New Jericho has a sniper as well. And an assault. Who just doesn't want to work with us and instead runs down. I wanted to take him over next door. Let's hope that the sniper has a med pack. Sniper is standing in the middle of nowhere. That's quite literally the worst thing that they could do. Oh boy, he ah! needs a med kit. And What happened to it's only two enemies, huh? Big war cry. Love it. That was such a I was born ready. pivotal moment. Proceeding. Now get you last then. 
trying to he hit uh, those cheeks but not being successful in doing so what's our move here JP moves up That is just not enough hit chance. Overwatching instead. Heavy leg. Yeah, let's just kill the leg. Taking point. Right there. Hold position. Okay, cool. Well, let them move. It was a good war cry, but overall, unfortunately, it costed us quite a bit of health as well. Okay, first things first, Just we're healing ourselves. Full cover behind the bed. Wouldn't be the worst. But this here is even out of line of sight. Come on, what the hell? Nothing That's will a get miss, past unfortunately. me. Here, lost our concealment. Hostile. Moving in and moving out. Unfortunately, we needed to reload, else it could have been a kill. Aiming. Okay, come on. When he's hunkering down, ah, too late. When he's hunkering down, we do have more hit chance. Again, too late. Hmm. As good as this. Um, movement based aim is it's also again just like so many things in this game finicky Killed this guy. That 
That's the other leg. Good, we're moving up. Ready to engage. And we're just peppering him with a lot of shots. I think we've done all we can. Unfortunately, not as successful as I wish it was. Best part of the job, got eyes on engaging the enemy. The New Jericho uh. Defense Force is incredibly aggressive. He might even have just killed himself outright. Oh, that's a, quite a bit of damage. We will need to heal that up. Luckily the sniper seems to be completely dumbfounded with his luck. Stop! I'm here. Down to six hit points. Ooh. Well, we need more hit points. Uh, that was way too close to for engage. comfort. Aiming. Still on target. Problem <laughs> solved. One down. Ready to fire. That guy is heavily injured. Good. JP is moving up, and I think what we can do is we can start healing. He started to heal himself. Well, next turn he can heal. All set. Backbiter. Yes. Moving over because I'm I want the high in. ground. Easy enough. Hope I can find ready ish. Good, that's the only way how he could survive. If we're getting our action before the enemy can. There is another enemy downstairs. I'll try to get there in one piece. Good, so overwatch here. And holy right shit, there. go into cover, please. Reloading. Free reload and stay in cover. Killed himself finally. I'm seriously injured and in need of assistance. Huh. My turn.
quickly. Good. NC is moving up. We're using New Jericho as bait. Ready. Okay, so we're healing back up. <clears throat> Sniper takes the high ground. Can't wait. Moving in. We're moving up to help our injured heavy. Switching. Reload. Uh, sprint Pushing over on. here. And oh. keep on. yeah, no surprise that the sniper died. He lived a reckless life. Shield. What we can do. JP moves up. Let's fix you right up. What's our plan? Uh, we're still not Let's full, so. What we can do. There's no valid target. Oh, okay, so our maximum hit points are reduced. I see how it is. In my sights. solves the gun problem. Now the guy can still spit, unfortunately. Here. But we can solve that as well. Leads 420. Okay, and is dead. That's the enemy I was hoping to spot out. Straight up killed the weapon. Ready for action. Which I think is the best outcome we could have hoped for because he can no longer snipe. And we're regaining we're regaining our action points with incidency.
Punkt 10, Shotgun, Overwatch. I think we're just overwatching in general. Ah. Confirming target. Nice. 300 experience isn't bad. And we did quite well. Good, and we recovered even a couple of items. Cool. Has revealed the location of their colony. Which is where? Pooh, in the middle of the mist. Tell you what, that is a job for for our other gang. Phoenix Combat Shields. <clears throat> Not bad. What does that combat shield do? Is that under armor? No. Equipment. What does it do? Combat shield. Hmm. Like I said, I don't. Uh, we're not going to build the new stuff yet, but that could be really helpful. I would imagine it works very similar to the energy shield and with that you can you can simply block so shortly double checking behaving info here almost done Will we be there in time? I don't know. Phoenix Point will be attacked by Pandorians. What, 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 what? Phoenix Point will be attacked by Pandorians? Flying back. Pandorans will reach Phoenix Point in 24 hours. Okay, our prime team is uh, there to expect them. In the meantime, we're going for mission number two. Taking strength four, defending strength six. Well, here we go. Good, we landed. We got New Jericho on our side and quite a few forces. So let's get this going. Receiving loud and clear. Oh, look at you. What a coincidence. Here they are. Over there. Moving to coordinates. Or it moving to coordinates. So, what are we dealing with? Lots and lots and lots of enemies. My way. Moves up. 
And kills the first one. Okay. Good. I will use those civilians in order to keep them safe. I won't use them as meat shields. Although I don't have an idea whether or not we're going to get a bonus for keeping them safe. fight up here it's a, definitely a good question I think the answer is yes we have a lot of snipers might as well have a direct firefight conflict let's rock We got eight instead of six soldiers now, and we already killed an enemy. It's a pretty damn good first round. This guy needs to die next. So one, two, three, four, yeah, it's potentially a bit much. Check this out. I wish we could hit these guys. If I was to sprint, we could sprint and sprint and then throw the grenade. Pushing that would be the worst idea. Target detected. Sprints. And sprints. Can't hit both of them, but this will create a zone of fire. Thing that we want to do is war prey the worms that's more than enough for now in my sights we disabled his arm with that being disabled i don't see how he would fight back Moving out. Carefully moving up. And instead of shooting, I think what we in, what we could do is just overwatching. The civilian is going to be a bit of a bait.
just using them for scouting. I will keep them safe, don't worry guys. I wonder if the worms can come in if you're standing right at the wall. No clue. Like there is only one entrance, right? So as far as my game logic goes, they now can no longer come in. Moving here. This guy moves to here, blocks the entrance. I'm here. Oh, I'm watching. Kyle moves all the way up. Let's go. And we're moving all the way up here. I think I have not moved him last time, which is definitely a mistake. Should be with the front line and out all by himself. Good, that overwatch worked out well. Wow, the moment that you run through fire just getting worse and worse. about that. This better work. Kill this guy. Enemy still active. Yep. Uh, two dead. He's dead. He's useless. What are those spitters called? Brute Prime. Anthorian Brute Prime. Thought of the uh, individual evolutions. I'm sort of losing track about who is who. Reload. Three. <laughs> Take that. That guy takes a hundred damage each round, so soon they will die. Good, that's even more damage. I like it. Cal moves up. Aiming. Receiving. Or oh, those guys were 
focusing on the big guy. Civilian just stands here for now. Moving that other civilian forward as a scout. Next turn we have a sniper up there. And we're bringing our medic. I'll keep my eyes open. Good, end of turn. Target hit. I think unfortunately our front line will now die. Really hit the worms. All right, the fire is intense. We don't want to be caught in it. Aiming. We can do a double shot, and that should be enough to kill this guy. Oh no, not again! Right, apparently we can't do a double shot. But we can destroy his shield. Here. I'm going. Disable the leg. He's still not a hundred percent dead. More of them. Get this over with. Now he's dead. I'm here. Let's roll. Okay, so we found two worms. The civilian is five going to be five. our guinea pig. Shutting off uh, the entrance here. And shutting off the entrance there. Fireworms are way worse uh, than the acid ones. I thought oh! what is just a change in in uh, element. No, 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 no. They are really bad. Can't walk through the fire. <laughs> it just 
It's not possible. Double time. Aiming. One down. Enemy kill. Moving. Aiming. Two down. Okay, how many hit points does he have left? 40, huh? he will die. Which means no more stupid worms. Identifying target. Let's get this done. We will be able to take shots next turn then. Completely covered by the stupid fire. What's our move? <clears throat> Let's show them what we can do. <laughs> Might as well kill him for will points. One, two, and Overwatch. Can't really get we there. Do. We have no one to reach that worm other than our sniper, really. I'll be there. Well done. Worms are out. tiny bit and let's rescue the civilian who is bleeding you did a fantastic job as a scout good job what's our plan Civilians are just protecting Ready us from fly. all angles at the moment. He took cover behind that fat um, corpse. Okay, five by five. so finally all of uh, the fire is gone. Taking aim. Try again. Reloading. Overwatching. This guy has ridiculously good cover. Here comes the Phoenix. Providing medical attention. Okay, just healing up our troops. So that we don't need to do that uh, the next time that we have an engagement. Oh, he takes even better cover. How does that taste? 
Good. We're reloading. Channel open. Moving now. Can't wait. Here comes the Phoenix. Did we kill the gun? Yes, we disabled the, uh, the arm. Moving to position. A little bit extra damage. Um, in the meantime, Healing. let's heal you. And I think we very much got these, uh, this here under control. Double tap gets into a position again and let's show them what we can do. We have a very solid position up here. Oh wow, well, that that is just a waste of ammunition. He has a really good cover. Jericho jumps down. And that was it. Ooh, another successful Haven defense. Good. The Haven Defense missions are actually incredibly valuable. I find them good, uh, very rewarding. It also helps with the attitude and it's relatively speaking easy to pull off. So we got two hives here, okay. Well, Manticore 3 can't clear out the hive itself. I don't think so. Twelve, eight. Well, that seems to be the smaller hive. Four for six and nine for two. Thank you. Um, well, is the team already ready for something bigger? We can level up, um, deploy a holographic decoy at the chosen location. The decoy is treated as a real target by all enemies. What? That guy has a mimic beacon? Oh, that is cool. Okay, I need to read all of uh, the deploy three spider drones with one action. Haven't seen the spider drones yet. But I know we do have a weapon, I just haven't time to build it yet. Vanish. That's great. I like the whole concept. I think this would pair relatively well with a sniper. Specifically with these weapons, they aren't too bad. I mean, it's okay. 60 points of damage for one is good. If you multiply it with a sneak attack, you're looking at actual damage almost like a uh, sniper rifle. And it's just one, one point, uh, one action point. Gain Assault Rifle Proficiency, we don't need that, but we need more hit points. I've noticed uh, that 
very much. So, can't run around with 160 hit points. Good, then we do have Double Tap, who will get the Overwatch. That is, again, quite helpful. And we're running around with 140 hit points. That's not okay. So now we're up to 170. Just increasing that survivability. Silent Hose, um, heavy uh, proficiency wouldn't be too bad. Two strength is also good. Um, bonus stealth and plus one speed, also good. Tell you what, uh, we're not at uh, 200 HP and that has been a quite a success story so far, having enough hit points. Incy wincy 180 hit points, that's good. Eagle Eye. Um, yeah, also, just so little hit, uh, so little hit points. Two, three, four. Technician comes in at 200, I like that. Weapon proficiencies for them are fine. I would like to get a turret. That would actually be really, really helpful. Here is the spider uh, drone pistol, by the way. Costs us five hours. Action points two. Deploy a spider drone. I think this is more has more to do with uh, mm, scouting than anything else. Oh, short gun. That is a great weapon. No, still not there. And we're just getting the next uh, aircraft. So no experimentations now. Yeah, the technician is a fantastic class. I really like him. My problem is without a turret. I think with a turret, it would be even a better class because then you can deploy the turret, just uh, almost jump forward, deploy the turret, jump backward, sort of those uh, combinations. Has decent armor overall, so I think that's fine. In terms of our prime team, uh, we did have the grenade launcher. And we had another grenade launcher. And there is yet another grenade launcher. Good, boom blast for Ian the Butcher owns. Dilly G, we haven't yet uh, modified. 
Grell has been modified. Euler has not yet been modified. Um, we'll come to that. We do have resources, but I don't want to immediately spend them. Might need to uh, get an another base and just upgrade for now. The team is performing very well, so I don't think that that's a problem. We do have Boom Blast here. Um, so let's use that. Those are quite expensive to produce, so I uh, pre produced a few of them. But yeah, Little Green uh, could be the explosive uh, the explosive guy uh, those goliath uh, mm, grenade launchers are just fantastic good which frees up a couple of basic bitch uh, mm, grenades and i'm wondering if anyone of the of this team here could use them by the way we're down to 13 stamina i think the right call is to do some exploration and get the stamina back up. Okay, the Scourge Champions, these were the ones with the grenade launcher. Uh, they are nasty. That's a Dragon Champion, I think grenade launcher as well. Acid launcher. Okay. Siren Armus. Contact with Oricalcum. Extremely strong and well shielded. Well. <laughs> Virus reduction by half. Instill frenzy. Mind control. And has acid spray. Oh. And strong damage on the improved arms. I hate sirens. Okay. Yeah, these were the super boss enemies. It's kind of like the sector pod. Research complete. Okay. Blast resistant vest available for production. Phoenix blast resistant vest reduces effect of blast damage by half. Weighs one. No other effects. Is that a modification, so to speak? It's not a bad one. In terms of research, Pandorian Lair, Shotgun Advancements. Okay, I'll need to pause here for a sec. Gotta take care of something else. Um, we are trading. And we would have had two for 12. Uh, that's a good trade as well. But anyways, I'll be back a little bit later. Okay, so I manufactured, I went into manufacturing and I want to test the blast vest. That's really quick. And then we do have these archeology span probes, uh, scans for an, uh, antediluvian sites. So these are cheap and we can get them done quick. Uh, there is also the scarab but I don't want to build that so yeah so far so good um, let's trade here worthwhile trade 942 uh, let's not trade that much a bit but we need food ok 
good. Getting decent trades here. 2 for 10 is also okay. Our personnel is finally back in the base. They will be ready for whatever is uh, going to come. And I'm wondering if we should upgrade them, but I already decided I didn't want to do that. Instead, it's time to upgrade bases. Misthaven uh, has an access lift. What else can we do here? I wonder if we need anything. We do have a satellite link, right? No, we don't. So that's uh, definitely a must have. But the rest should be fine. So that would be Mist Haven. Uh, we need some sort of connection here. Which brings me to activating this base. And that base is called um, no, that base is called Alaska Snow. Very good. Not Alaka Snow. Damn it. Much better. Good. We can repair a couple of things here, but we currently don't have the funds. What I'm hoping to get is another hop over so that we could actually get here plus also get to the American uh, to the American missions that we do have open. Papua New Guinea, we can't uh, do that yet. This is soon going to be one. Can't do that yet. We need to take care of these two. Soon, soon. And yeah, we made the first move here, so Next up, we gotta activate the base here. So it's now the age of expansion. I wish we had a few more facilities that would help us with uh, with our efforts. Don't want to go in too low. That's our next target. Trade in. And 249 is good. Yeah, but we can't trade that much. Four for five isn't great. Eight for two, on the other hand, is okay. And we are going to do that mission in a second. Ten for two is not good. Um, Haven info. That is where we need to go. I'll just leave them there for a moment. Construction complete.
They are empty. Okay, if we look, uh, there is a berserker. Way too expensive. Good. We're now going to do this mission and then that mission. Manticore 1 continues to prevent things in Phoenix Point to go wrong. Just double checking Phoenix Point. Vehicles at base. We got one vehicle. Birdie is stationed here. already spent quite a few resources so these missions here are coming at the right time because they will offer us new resources. We'll continue from here to scout out. Uh, that was the plan all along, getting uh, these unknown question marks out of the way. And I think we've done a really, really good job in getting the rest explored. Could do a better job here in Africa, but um, of getting another facility maybe. But yeah, overall, that's not bad. Okay, next time we're going to uh, go and do a Pandorian Lair and another Pandorian layer. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you are trying to push back the mist, then uh, consider clicking the like button as that is vital for research for mist propellers. And that's exactly what we want to do. One thing before I leave you, I'll equip the, um, the containment devices because I just realized we actually do have uh, the option to contain uh, specimen here. Might as well use the attack in order to uh, to contain a couple of them and see uh, what we will get from it. All right, take care. See you in two days. Bye bye.